All right, my friends, back at it again. Aaron Michael Eschenberg here talking about your daily horoscope for Thursday, the 7th of March, 2019. How you feeling? How you feeling? Leave, leave, please, I love the feedback. Leave some comments going on below. Let me know what's going on in your lives. Are you feeling already this, this a mega change that happened between yesterday and today? All right, the retrograde, this feeling a little bit of being pulled back. So let's talk about the retrograde first. Now, some astrologers will be like, don't travel, don't get into a relationship, don't sign a marriage certificate, don't sign a contract, um, don't you know move, don't start any new relationships, pretty much don't live, don't do anything for three weeks. It's insane. Now, the reason these astrologers say this is because when we have Mercury retrograding from Earth's perspective, going backward, okay, which all it means is it's getting closer to Earth as it goes, you know, 88 days around the sun. It's flying, man, so fast. So when it gets closer to Earth, from Earth's perspective, it slows down and it looks like it's moving backwards. The main difference between astronomy and astrology is from Earth's perspective, okay? There's a full moon in space every single day. Think about that. There's a full moon in space every single day. That is astronomy. It's a full moon once a month. This is astrology because we live on Earth. Okay? So these eclipses that we see, all these things going around, that's Earth's perspective. This is astrology. And how these planets affect life here on Earth is astrology. So the moon goes up, the tide comes up. The moon goes down, the tide goes down. If there's a full moon, people go crazy, you know? There's more more accidents, you know, my dad was a police officer, I know a lot of police officers, my grandma was a nurse, they'll both tell you, like, full moons, they go nutty, you know? People in hospitals go crazy, the crime goes off the charts. You know, this is part of our visible universe. We don't, what we don't see if we're not paying attention is Mercury moving backward in Pisces, or we don't pay attention, we don't see this seven-year shift of Uranus moving into Taurus, and understanding why, you know, these larger things are happening in life. And the, the bigger, I don't know, not bigger pictures, but like these, these bigger um, social, you know, social events that are happening that, that span over, you know, periods of time you know this mass global depression has been happening has, has been a, a combination of a square between Pluto and Uranus and now finally Uranus is starting to move away this has been years and years and years this has been happening similar to the Great Depression uh, so when we have these two planets transform and break through transform and break through and it's just like this pressure on ourselves that we're not doing something that you know that we, we need to be more need to do all this uh, not good enough. I'm abandoned. I'm abandoned by my creator. I'm abandoned by God. I'm abandoned by my faith. I'm abandoned by my, my family, by my peers, my friends. I'm alone in this world. I'm isolated. You know, I'm not good enough. And they can look at other people's success and compare it to my own. It's like, whoa, it can be really, really intense. So, <laughs> uh, so we have this retrograde happening right now. So a lot of the other astrologers are going to tell you don't live. Don't live for you know, three weeks out of the year. And that's, that's not the case. Um, travel, go do your thing. But it's just, it's just literally like, really, really make sure, like this is the time where it's just like, yo, I totally sent that email for that job that I'm about to have, you know? Like me, I'm a contractor. So like I, I get different jobs all the time. So I get an email and I get to email them right back. And this is like one of those key moments right now over the next three weeks, this retrograde is just like, make sure that email is sent. Make sure you've written it, you've read it, because as well as, as Mercury is our communication. It's our intelligence, it's our interpretation of other words, you know, how we come across. And when we go, when we retrograde, that means Mercury is closer to Earth. These three, you know, these three times of the year, this is when Mercury is the closest to Earth. So it's a buzzing, it's a faster, higher energy. It's it's like, you know, like you just had a bunch of coffee, man. You know, like you're, you're zipped up, you're piped up and ready to go. And sometimes we can respond faster. You know, if it's just like, hey, you know, coming over here, like, how are you today? And it's like, I'm good, I'm, everything's really great. You're like, are you yelling at me? No, I'm not, I'm not yelling, I'm just really excited. You know, so we can, our interpret, you know, how other people interpret us can be misleading because this is how we communicate and our information. So it's like, slow down, 
you know, break the chains and reel in the reins here. <laughs> and, and like, remember, Pisces is about compassion. And especially with the connections happening with this stuff in Cancer in the North Node. And, and Mercury, yes, the entire time, the entire retrograde, Mercury will be trining water sign to water sign. Water sign, water sign, you guys are backward. Um, I'm backward. It's not your fault, it's me, it's not you. Um, so, so this whole time, Mercury is going to trine and saying, be more compassionate, human being. Don't be so fast and jump to conclusions. Don't be so, you know, uh, quick to cut somebody out. You know, on the opposite side of Pisces is Virgo, this very analytical side of things. So we can be like, yes, no, right, wrong. You're, I like you, you're in. I don't like you, you're out. You know, so it's like, whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down, slow down. Life's not that serious. It's really not, you know. And then we can have another two sides of this. We have uh, escape. I want to escape my mentality. I want to escape what's going on right now. You know, I want to get high. I want to drink. I'm going to, you know, immerse myself in video games or on Facebook because I don't want to deal with the real reality of what's going on around me. I'm standing in line at the grocery store. This is, <laughs> it's, it's a mundane task. I'm just standing in line at the grocery store, breathing, you know. Do I have to check my phone right now? Do I have to distract myself with something? Can I just enjoy breathing, sitting here? Look at all the food I just bought that I'm going to make. What kind of delicious meals, you know. Um, the drugs thing, you know, we're, we're being distracted. We're being pulled out of the element. We're being pulled out of this reality. And on the other hand, we have like, we can feel this energy and we can say, I want to meditate. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to be defined by a thought. I'm going to define my life by a thought. I'm going to sit down and I'll feed myself when I'm ready, when, when, when I'm done. You know, I'll check my phone, my Facebook and WhatsApp and all of this. When I'm done, I'm going to sit down right now, define myself by this thought and sit here and meditate connect with myself, familiarize myself with my emotions, with how I'm feeling, with my physical body, and just meditate. And I want to experience this. So there's like one half of escape. The other half is like, no, I've done this. You know, what is, is it Russell Brand, the, the English bloke? Uh, you know, he's, he's a prime example of, of, of exactly what I'm talking about right now. He was just like, you know, I've done the drugs. I've done the hard stuff. I've done all of these things. And he's, at the end, what's lowest left? Just me. He's, my, you know, knowing myself and meditation and, and yoga and spirituality, you know, something along these lines. He's, he's a pretty interesting guy, you know, but he, he was a hardcore partier. And, and it was just like that. It's just like escape every day to, I don't want to deal with reality. I want to drift off into something else. So then we have this, you know, yoga and you know, this, this balance over here. This is where we're being pulled to as, as Mercury is making this connection with the North Node. Follow your intuition, follow your compassion, follow your internal compass of your heart, the compass of your heart. So it's like slow down in this communication so that way we really read things through that we know what's going on, that we know what we're saying to everybody else. All right, does this come across as harsh? Does this come across as, you know, am I too quick? Sometimes, you know, we send these emails or texts and it's just, we, we read something and just respond really fast. Next three weeks, bring it down. Reread it and then reread it again, Santa Claus. Check that list twice before you just send it on there. Was Jimmy really a bad boy? Does he deserve snowman poop in his stocking? Or does he get a little toy train? You know, what about you, Janie? Whatever. You get it. So, slow down. Slow down. Lead with compassion. <laughs> Lead with compassion. And I'll, okay, here's what. April 17th is when we're out of this. Just so you know, it's April 17th. Okay. Now, the retrograde only happens for three weeks. But again, Mercury's at 29 degrees Pisces, still today, 29 degrees Pisces. We're still with kaleidoscope eyes. We're still expanding our compassion for the full spectrum, that we understand, that we truly, truly understand that we need every single color. We need Billy over there and his ignorant self so that his ignorance can teach the rest of us, oh, we need to soften. We don't want to be ignorant like Billy. 
I don't want to be, you know, like that. I'm going to be like this. And you know what I mean? Like there's there's the, the the balance. I hope I hope that's coming across well. Please again leave a comment or something if this is if this has been beneficial, helpful to you. Talk to me. You know I like talking with people, so this is a little bit different when I'm just talking to a camera the whole time. So interact with me, folks. Um, so April seventeenth is when Mercury finally moves through this like whole shadow period and finally moves to one degrees Aries is on April seventeenth. So we have a whole lot of time in Pisces right now to expand our compassion, to expand our thoughts, to expand our dreams, and to realize the world we're moving into is much bigger than the limited one that we've been living in. Ah, I love you. I wish you enough. We'll see you tomorrow.